Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about the new horror thriller fantasy, uh, family drama movie, I guess whatever this movie is. Uh, more so a horror film, I guess. Uh, but that's the new film, A Quiet Place. Um, this film is directed by John Krasinski, and from what I know about this project, it sounds like both him and Emily Blunt kind of came up with this concept together over the course of time, and they kind of always wanted to make this movie, and so they finally just got around to making it. And... For this movie, you guys, it's about an alien invasion. Um, it focuses on a family that lives on a farm, and this alien invasion happens, and you know people are trying to figure out what these aliens want and everything like that. But the film really picks up when it's many, many days after the invasion has happened. The aliens have kind of, I guess in a way, got comfortable on Earth, but are still kind of seeking humans and stuff. And people have figured out that these aliens are very sound sensitive, so you have to be very, very quiet. No loud noises can be made. Um, any kind of loud noise or like accidental bump into a wall or anything like that is going to make these aliens agitated, and they're going to try to figure out where the sound is, and they'll hunt you down if they find you. Um, they're blind, so they really can't see anything, so it is all based on sound and where they heard the sound and so forth. Um, so this family has to figure out how to live this way, um, how to find resources, how to kind of continue their lives in a quiet sense, and not to upset these aliens and so forth. Um, but as the movie progresses, you know, they, tr they try to figure out how to do this, how to progress, uh, do the aliens have weaknesses, what can we do about it. So all these things are explored over the course of the film, A Quiet Place. So overall, guys, I really like this film a lot. Um, I think this film is very much um, definitely a different way to make a horror film. They definitely play off sound very well, both the absence of sound, the use of sound. When something very intense is happening, this film does a good job of making that situation feel intense. Um, I was overall very happy with A Quiet Place. So for my positives and negatives of this film, um, I do think this film is an achievement in sound design and atmosphere and editing. Um, just the way that um, this film es establishes its atmosphere, making sure it feels quiet. Any sounds that are made are going to agitate the aliens, and gonna, they're going to come out to hunt you if you do so. Um, the way that they're edited together. Even with the sounds of the aliens when they're moving around and trying to find what might... Um, what person might have been responsible for making that sound. Even that kind of sounds more unique than usual. Um, I really do feel this film is an achievement in sound design. Um, so hopefully when the Oscars come around for 2018 films, hopefully in the sound department, A Quiet Place will show up there as well. This film is also very suspenseful and scary. Um, it's scary in the sense that you really kind of feel sorry for these characters because even the slightest sound will make these aliens come out after you and try to hunt you down. Um, it's suspenseful in the sense that you, you get worried when a character might make a sound or get hurt by something or might bump into something which will create a sound or a kid will try to play with a toy that makes a loud noise and so forth. Um, this film does a very good job making the suspense feel built up well and the situations feel scary. It really knows how to handle all these things very well. And since John Krasinski directed this film as well, as well as acted in the movie, um, I think he even wrote the film too, um, you can definitely tell he just knew what kind of film he really wanted to make and he made it as suspenseful and scary as he possibly could. I also like the farm setting of this film. Um, I think it kind of creates its own challenges for a sound environment, you know, opening the barn door or, um, you know, I, I feel like there's just so many things you can do on a farm or hide in a farm that could create more sounds than, let's say, in an apartment room or a house somewhere. Um, it, it kind of creates challenges for um, living in this really tough situation of making no sound. Um, I, th I just thought it was a very fitting choice for a film like this. And I don't know, it just felt very um, small scale like the film. So I don't know, I guess in that sense, it felt very appropriate to this film as well. Um, I also thought these, this film has very interesting characters. You really care about them. You want to make sure that they live through the situation. Um, I, I just felt very invested in them and felt very sorry for them. Um, I wanted to see them succeed and to find a, a weakness for these aliens to take them out. Um, I just really felt for these characters. I thought they were very interesting and very investing. 
This film also has great CGI. Um, really, these aliens do feel like they are living and breathing in this world. You really kind of forget that it was something that was created on a computer and applied to the movie. Um, so they did a great job with that. The CGI did feel very believable. It didn't really look like something out of a computer. They really made sure it looked like it was living and breathing in that environment and trying to hunt down what they were looking for and stuff. So I, I, thought was, I was very impressed with what they did with that in the movie. I also thought the acting was very good. You know, usually with child actors, with really, really young boys and girls acting in a movie, um, it's kind of hit or miss sometimes. You might get a Macaulay Culkin or you might get, um, I don't know, what was that really not so great Clint Eastwood film, 1517 to Paris. Um, I thought the kids in that were really not that great. Um, <clears throat> But thankfully, like a Macaulay Culkin situation from Home, from home Alone, um, the girl, the boy, and I guess another boy, I guess you could say too, who was in this movie, um, all did a terrific job. They really do feel like they're trying to stay quiet with their parents and stay quiet with the survivors of this alien invasion. Um, they feel just as talented as the adults do, so I think that really does go to show just how great either John Krasinski directed them in this movie or just to show how great at acting they are too to really feel like they're really terrified of the situation they're in I was very very impressed with that as well for my negatives of a quiet place and why i don't think it's maybe the best film of the year or anything like that um i do feel the musical score to this film is very unfitting um it just feels really loud it's kind of the opposite of the atmosphere they're trying to establish in this movie Thankfully, I, the film gets just as many moments to kind of establish its own feeling without a musical score, but when the musical score does happen, it's either really generic, really unfitting for what's going on, or just really too loud for a film like A Quiet Place. Um, it just doesn't really even fit the title either. Um, so I thought the musical score to this film could have been much quieter, or they could have done what Alfred Hitchcock did with the film The Birds, and uh, either have no soundtrack at all, or have a soundtrack but have it very quiet and very silent um i almost kind of wanted like a no country for old men kind of a musical score to this film i think it would have been more appropriate that film had a musical score but it was very silent at times where you almost kind of had to listen for it to, to hear what it was and i feel like a quiet place could have benefited from a score that probably could have taken the same route as well another negative i have with this film is some of the choices some of these characters make throughout the movie are just very very dumb like look if you can't make any sounds at all do not turn on the loud toy that makes really loud noises that's going to get you killed um if you're really worried about loud noises and a chance of a loud noise i'm sorry you know having kids can be a beautiful thing but don't have another kid if you're going to have another kid, the, the baby's going to cry and going to have a diaper change and it's going to get hungry and there's just going to create so many obstacles for these aliens to just come down and hunt you and your family and the new baby. It's just like, why in the world would they ever think of having um, getting the, the wife pregnant again after such a scary situation like this? It's, to me personally, I thought that was a little irresponsible on their end. That's just me personally. Um, I understand, if, for those who see the film, you'll, you'll obviously see kind of what happened and why they chose to do that and stuff. But for me personally, I feel for a situation like this and for a film like this, why would they do that after such a scary, intense situation like this and put their kids at risk and stuff? So... Uh, but that was just my own personal gripe, I guess, with that. But overall, I'm going to give A Quiet Place a 9 out of 10. Like I said, this film is an achievement in sound design. It's suspenseful and scary, has interesting characters, great CGI, great acting, great child acting, too. Um, interesting, intriguing ideas. I, I actually didn't bring this one up. Another positive I have with this movie was it had intriguing ideas that make you think about the film and kind of make you think about... Um, how you would handle the situation if you were in this family's shoes and so forth. So that was another positive I had with this movie. <clears throat> and for my negatives, I thought the musical service is very loud and unfitting for a movie like this. And some of the character choices like playing with a loud toy and having another kid and so forth, I thought was just dumb on their end. But overall, 9 out of 10. Um, really like this movie. If you like horror films, I think this is one definitely worth checking out. Um, one of the better horror films we've gotten in a while.